Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my first March plan with me and I'm using this really pretty kit from Caress Press. I have had this in my collection for quite a while, several months, and I am excited to use this. I am really excited to move on from pink from February and I'm going to downplay the pink in this um, spread and definitely play up the other colors because I think they're really interesting and cool. So this is kind of a random kit, but I just love the artwork and I think it's really fun. So why not? All right, let me show you the kit. It is called Museum Babe. And here is the one of the functional pages with some deco. I'm going to use this up top instead of day covers. We have some functional deco, some checklists. Here are the full boxes. And I just think they're beautiful and so interesting. So um, here is the page with the boxes, half boxes, and some little things and headers, more functional stuff. And then the bottom washi, another extra full box, and the flags for up top, and the weekend banner. I also have the date numbers, but I won't be using the date covers. So, and then I'm also going to use these black glitter um, headers from a like some leftovers so that is the plan I think we're ready to get started this is going to be a hectic week I'm getting ready to go to Austin on a Sunday so this is yeah this is going to be an interesting week it's a lot of work so it might be like It'll look cute, but it'll be like boring stuff, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's get started on this spread, and I'll switch to a voiceover. All right, so I'm starting with the bottom washi, which is this cool, like, abstract pattern with the paint strokes. I really like the colors in this kit. I think they're just kind of cool and different, and I definitely needed a little palette cleanser, and this gave it to me. So I had some old black glitter headers that I'm just using. I didn't order glitter headers with this kit, so, but this totally works and it gives it a little pop up at the top because I'm not using date covers. So I think it looks really nice. And I put the weekend banner at the bottom. I've been kind of doing that off and on. I, sometimes it just works. And then the little flags, the caress pepper, <laughs> caress, Press paper is really thick and so you don't really have to white out anything behind it, which is nice. And then I'm just pulling in a couple of my little script stickers from Sweet Ava's Paper. Um, for some reason I've been getting a lot of questions about these stickers and I bought them last year and she doesn't offer them anymore, but if you just search on Etsy like script stickers, I'm sure that you can find some that are pretty similar to this. So I am really liking the deco up at the top like this instead of date covers. I think it's really, I just, I like it. I don't know. It just kind of brings some more like white space up there. And I think I kind of need that right now. And then I like these little dots. I'm just kind of placing them in between like where I have space. It just kind of fills in. It looks just so cute. I wish all kids had the little dots. And then I'm just going to cut off whatever is kind of not sticking on the page. And I like that little overflow look. It looks adorable. And then let's move on to the sidebar. So I'm just pulling in a random full box because they're all kind of the same. Um, there's not a quote box or anything. And then I just pulled in a fancy label with a homework sticker to mark the five things that I have left to do. I think there's actually one more, but I finished everything early, which is fantastic because I don't have to worry about anything when I'm in Austin next week. And that was the goal. And I actually did it. I can't believe I did it. And then I'm just pulling in a cleaning list from Nikki Plus 3 and 2 Habit Trackers. It was kind of a tight squeeze in there, but I think it looks nice. So I'm just filling in those five assignments. So I have a couple discussions left and a couple of big assignments. Um, but yeah, I got all of those done this week, which is so nice. One of them I didn't really finish, but I didn't need the points and I wasn't super worried about it. So... You gotta do what you gotta do at this point. I'm so tired. 
<laughs> Alright, I'm pulling in one of my personalized coffee cups from Crafty Banana for Monday because Monday needs all the coffee. And um, the little scallop label is from Avalon and Ninth. I couldn't find an exact match for the yellow, but I pulled in this like chartreuse, chartreuse color and I think it looks pretty good. And then I'm just kind of skipping around a lot here. Sorry, guys. Um, so on Friday, I put down a label for a meeting, which ultimately got canceled. And I forgot to put a canceled sticker over that. And then I have a checklist below that for some things that I need to finish up before I leave because I'm going to be gone the entire next week of school. So I had to put together some very detailed sub plans and everything. So... That was, <laughs> took up a lot of time this week, but I got it done. Mainly I just put everything in Google Classroom, which is so easy. Okay, back to Monday. So I am looking for something. I don't know what I'm doing. This was a kind of a mess. Like, I just kept jumping around everywhere, but, I mean, it worked. Okay, so I found my YouTube play buttons from Avalon and Ninth, the little icons, and I just pulled in some more of that chartreuse color, and I think it totally works with everything once the whole spread is down. And I'm just using some of the little things, which I really, really like to use when I have a mini kit like this that doesn't have a lot of quarter boxes. And you just cover up the icon with something else. And it saves you a lot of space because they're small. So I had three videos that went up this week. And one of them was a haul on Wednesday. And one was a March monthly spread on Friday. And then I had a bill due on Monday that I wanted to mark. Okay, above that, that half box is for my workout for that day, which was pretty much the only workout that I did that week. You know, looking at my spread. Oh, I did go for a walk on Wednesday, but the weather was crappy this week. Plus, I had a migraine on Wednesday and Thursday and part of Friday, and I just wasn't feeling it. And I have kind of decided that spring break is going to be my reset. So I put down the little rough draft box to mark um, an assignment, and that is from Avalon and Ninth, and then the self-care sticker for Tuesday, and then the discussion post for Tuesday as well. So I'm just putting in all of my assignments because I wanted to really like block my time, and so I don't get overwhelmed. Because if I look at the list, I'm like, this is so much work. But if I assign it a day, and set aside time for it, then it's not so overwhelming. So that was my psychology behind that. And it worked because I really did get everything done. I kind of skipped around and didn't stick to my exact schedule, but I did it. Um, on Tuesday, I also was going to go to PetSmart. That ended up getting moved to Wednesday, but whatever. And they didn't have what I wanted. They discontinued the line that I used to use for like, I don't even know, like 10 years. I'm so upset. And then I couldn't find it online, so I think it just got discontinued, like, everywhere. So, whatever. And I was going to buy kitty treats, but I was, like, so confused by them not having what I wanted that I just left. So, sorry, kitties. Not that they need any more treats. They're spoiled as it is. Okay, so I pulled in the black half box for a workout, which ended up being a really good walk. It was really nice weather that day. I think it got up to like 65, and it was gorgeous outside, and that was a great walk. And then above that, I marked my on a little thing that I need to update my budget, which I didn't do that day. I didn't do it till Friday, but it got done. And then I'm just putting down a couple of assignments that I wanted to finish up. All of these assignments were already started. I just needed to finish them, which is, which is good. But it happened. It got done. So 
So I'm pulling in another little thing. And what I'm looking for is a little paper bag. And I thought that I had them in this book with all of my stickers, but I did not have them in here, which is why I'm so confused right now. I'm like, I know they're in here and they weren't. And then I remembered where they were and I just had to dig through here. I need to organize these samplers. I do it like once a year. I need to do it like way more than that, but I did eventually find them. There it is. And that was to prep my lunches for the rest of the week. I've been having salads at lunch, which I really like, but I don't like to wait more than a day or two to eat them. So that requires a little more meal prep, but that's okay. Okay, on to Thursday, I put down that little discussion box, discussion post box, and then um, above that, a um, half box. That was supposed to be for a workout, but that ended up being me in bed with a migraine after taking some Imitrex. Um, it did not make it go away, but the next day it did, which is fantastic. And then I just put that double box scene over on Sunday and that half box on Sunday is for whatever we do when we're in Austin that evening, which is probably like chill and go to dinner or whatever. So above that, I'm just um, putting in a couple more boxes and little things for like arriving in Austin and checking into the hotel and all that. And the munchkin. And then just pulling in one of these boxes. I can't remember where they're from. I think it's Avalon and Ninth, but I cut off the top so it would fit in my album. This little traveler girl is not available anymore, but I have them and I want to use them and I think they're really cute and I don't get to use them very often. So I threw her in there. She's kind of tall, but it works for the space. And then that little label is just for packing. So I'm pulling in a little munchkin that says pack. Packing process is kind of intense for me because I'm very particular, so it takes me a couple hours to pack up. Um, that little checklist, I'm going to move that um, later, but that'll be for my prayer list. I was trying to put it down there, but I didn't need it. All right, so I just put down the little suitcases to mark that I needed to work on my packing list, which I have this little notepad from Erin Condren, so I just need to add to it, and it should be pretty easy. Okay, that little little thing, um, I'm just going to pull in the little planner, and that's for some filming. And then I'm going to use the little icon for editing because I have a lot to edit before I leave. And I'm not going to be taking anything with me. So I'm just keeping it minimal this time. Okay, so this little thing I'm just going to use for my prayer list with a little checklist. And I just pulled in the little heart. And I'm thinking, okay, so this checklist is going to be for the final three assignments that I need to turn in. I have one more discussion that I can post, but I don't need to, like I don't need the points, so I probably am not going to do that one. And the questions were kind of strange, so they were like, I don't know, it required some honesty that I wasn't sure that I wanted to share about the class itself with it not being over yet. I saved that for the survey. Okay, so I'm just like listing those things that I need to, to finish up. I'm just looking back at the previous week. And then this little glitter box is for a workout that I'm going to do, 
or whatever else I imagine that I'm going to do that day because working out doesn't seem like it's going to happen based on <laughs> the previous days in the week, but we'll see. I'm going to try to be optimistic about it. I also just have a lot to do today. It is Saturday and I'm like trying to finish up a lot of stuff. Okay, that little laptop is just for finishing up any grad work that needs to get done. Like maybe that discussion, maybe not. <laughs> skipping around a lot this week. All right, so I'm just pulling in this label to work on lesson plans for the next week and start on the week after, which I'll have to finish up during spring break, which is fine, but I did want to get that done. All right, I think that is everything for my pre-planning. I'm sure I'm forgetting things, I just don't know what they are. Um, I'll fill in my flight information. I don't know what time. I know it's around noon, but I'm not sure exactly what time. But, um, and I'm not sure what we're going to do this night, but probably just go out and eat and relax. So this is this week. This is so pretty and I love the colors. They are so cool. I'm just excited to use this. I'm hoping to use some more full boxes. I have lots left. I think I want to use this one. And this one, and I think I want to use this one. I like the plant and the statue and the marble and everything. So definitely have some room for some full boxes. This is going to be a busy week catching up on work. Well, not really catching up, but getting ahead on my work so that I can enjoy the conference next week. So I hope that you enjoyed this little part, and I'll be back in a second to show you the finished spread. So this is actually Friday that I'm finishing this up, but tomorrow is super busy and I've got a lot to wrap up. So I'm going to head, going to go ahead and finish up this video right now. And you can see the very finished spread on Instagram, but I really love this. The colors are so cool and interesting. And I just, I loved it all week. It was just kind of fun to play around with the different colors that I, really don't use very often and it's just kind of fun so let me show you what is left in the kit of course I have the numbers I don't know what I'm going to do with these because they like match the kit so I don't know I don't know I hate to throw them away or anything but I don't know what to do with them um I use most of this page I actually had half boxes left I don't know how that happened and then I have some icons and some functional deco left one full box and the date covers are left so I used a lot of this kit and I incorporated some other things too which I think are kind of fun so let's zoom in real quick and I'll show you everything a little closer okay so over here this little label is from Avalon and Nines the coffee cup is crafty banana it is personalized it's so cute um this is from coffee monsters co if I don't mention it it's either leftovers or from the kit itself um, I've got a lot of emojis here from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, Planneresque. These are both Lena's planner. And then my self care sticker is Virgo and Paper. YouTube icons are Avalon and Ninth. Nikki Plus 3. Um, this is also Avalon and Ninth. And then over here on this side, school stickers are from Sweet Ava's Paper. This label is Avalon and Ninth. I don't know where that's from, it's a leftover. Planneresque. And down here, this is um, Paper Princess, which she has not opened her shop in almost a year, so I don't think she's going to open again, but I have these, so I I used it. Uh, Once More With Love, along with these this little guy. These are both emojis from Coffee Monsters Co., Avalon and Ninth, and everything else is from the kit, most likely. So I really love this. Let's get one more last look of this cute little spread. It was just kind of random but also super fun and I really enjoyed it so I hope that you enjoyed it too if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you next time bye